As I drove down the seemingly endless dark road, I cursed my friends. A quaint little bar in the middle of nowhere, they said. Well they got that right, there was not one blessed sign of civilization anywhere to be seen. Just then, I caught a glimpse of a lighted barn on down the road. Civilization at last. I slowed down and pulled up to the round barn. My headlights caught a number of wagons, carriages, and buggies parked beside it. They were having an old-time barn dance, I thought as I pulled in and made my way to the door. The party was in full swing as I stepped through the large double doors. The center of the barn was filled with swirling dancers dressed in the costumes of yesteryear. These folks had gone to a great deal of trouble to recreate an authentic barn dance. A large bearded chap clapped me on the shoulder in greeting and handed me a mug of beer. I took a sip and then gulped it down eagerly. It was the best beer I'd ever tasted. Then a dark-eyed beauty grabbed me by the hand and pulled me out onto the dance floor. I was flying high, dancing and drinking, and singing along. Around midnight, the band took a break and I stood with my new acquaintances before a table lined with drinks. Give us a toast to the night, giggled my inebriated beauty. To a delightful night, I said, loudly. Good fortune and long life to everyone present. The crowd went silent when they heard my words. The stillness grew, flowing outward like a wave, until you could have heard a pin drop. As I glanced uneasily about me, I saw the skin slowly peeling away from the merry faces, until all that remained were bone, rotting skin, and staring eye sockets. The girl in my arms was nothing but a skeleton in a moldy blue dress. With a gasp of horror, I dropped my mug and leapt away from the skeleton. The mug hit the floor with a loud bang. And the lights went out. I screamed in terror and stumbled backward, slamming into a damp, foul-smelling pile of hay. I frantically tried to find my way to the door. As my eyes adjusted to the darkness I spotted the barn doors across the hall. I rushed toward them, withered and bony hands grabbing at me as I ran. Then I was out in the moonlight and racing to my car. I leapt into the car and backed down the lane as fast as I could go. My headlights caught the dilapidated barn with half of its roof missing and walls sagging inward. 
I slammed the car into gear and drove as fast as I could. Somehow, I found the way back to my home and spent the remainder of that restless night sleeping with the light on in my bedroom. To this day, I have no idea where I was. I heard later that folks in Vernon County sometimes hear strange music drifting over the hills at night, though no one can identify its source. In my mind, I can still see the bright happy faces of the ghostly farmers dancing the night away in a rotting old barn.